that hello okay all right i'm going to start off with an intro a good old fashioned intro uh, i hope people know me already i think most of you know me but for the people who don't know me hello i'm kesha hi i'm an artist i'm an illustrator i live in the beautiful land of india chennai and i love drawing and doodling and i've been drawing ever since the age of 5 and uh, i love telling stories with my illustrations and as you can see these are some of the drawings to give you an idea this is the stuff i make every little drawings and doodles that i make is meant to tell a little story it is meant to tell something uh, you know visually interesting and appealing so that you know people can just uh, look at that thing and go oh all right i can relate to that right stuff like this i like drawing cartoons i've been drawing cartoons ever since i was a kid and i've been inspired to draw from cartoons because that is what you know got me started with drawing i used to watch a lot of cartoon network to my fellow indian kids out there there's shaktiman right there this is the original indian superheroes back from retirement you know because of times and uh, you know i've been drawing for a long time and i also love so these are all say illustrations these are all say finished drawings and finished illustrations uh, done digitally but mostly in this session what we're going to do is we're just going to do some good old fashion doodling just doodling just drawing to sort of create uh, create a sense of flow within yourself flow in the sense open up yourself a bit more so that you can create have fun with act, the actual process of drawing that is the whole point of this session so there is that okay i think we're still live my screen is loading so are we are we still live guys so are you guys ready so if you if you're ready if you're ready with your pen your paper and your pencils say yes yes for a second just say yes if you're ready just say yes get your get your stuff ready get your things ready and just say yes what is this called this is called doodling we're going to be we're going to be doing that thing today we're going to be doing a lot of that thing today so that is the <laughs> whole idea behind this class uh, i'm going to be doing a lot of doodling for the day okay so yes you guys are ready so here's what i want you guys to do right now so we're going to for the first 15 minutes right for the first 15 minutes what we are going to be doing doodling no 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 doodling the first 15 minutes what we're going to be doing is sort of warming up for things so i want to take a new paper right here right so we're going to be warming up we're going to be doing some little exercises to sort of get our hand ready right get our hand ready to sort of start drawing and doodling so what i want you guys to do right now is get a color pencil right get something get a color pencil like this or get two or three color pencils like this or a sketch pen right now the whole point of this class right the whole point of this class is this for us to free ourselves and draw some good old fashioned doodles and drawings and that is it and have fun with it right so for the the first step for us that that we're going to do is we're going to loosen ourselves up and this is what i do at pretty much the uh, the start of every workshop and class that i do which is i want you guys to sort of start scribbling like crazy on your paper now i don't want you to just look at this stream and not do anything grab a piece of paper grab a piece of pencil and scribble scribble your hearts out we're going to we're going to we're going to forget the idea of trying to make a super perfect drawing today our goal is simple today just draw just draw and doodle and we're going to start off by just scribbling just scribbling really yes i want you to scribble i want you to scribble because we are going to be building up ourselves to doing little drawings and doodles such as this one and this one and probably some patterns and exercises throughout this whole class so we're going to be building ourselves up for that and up for these things but before that scribble 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 so we got it's 5 5 right now i want you to sort of scribble right now just scribble and scribble and scribble and scribble and scribble and scribble just scribble just scribble just scribble scribble for two more two more minutes right just scribble just scribble whatever that comes to your mind of course there is mu- there isn't much to scribble right which sort of paper is this any sort of paper is fine just just 
loosen up stuff. And once you're done with that, once you're done scribbling, all right, are you done scribbling? Say yes. If you're done scribbling, say yes. If not, scribble and say yes. All right, quickie, make a scribble and say yes to me and turn your paper like this. All right, you're done scribbling. Awesome. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our sketch pins. Any of your sketch pins, right? We're gonna do some line warm-ups, just basic little stuff, basic little line warm-ups, right? Like this. So I want you to start with a, a horizontal line. One, start with a single horizontal line, such as this one, and go two, three, four, Five. Now, if your line is sort of wiggly and jiggly and wobbly and all that stuff, it is completely okay, all right? This is okay. Just make some lines, all right? So with me, guys, so I'm gonna be giving you a cue right now, right? You're gonna do this with me right now, all right? So we're gonna start out with horizontal lines. Now, take your paper, don't sit and watch, don't sit and watch, all right? So one, two, three, four, five again we repeat that one two three four five we repeat that again one two three four five and we're gonna do verticals right now right if you're if, if anyone's finding it a little hard i can uh, to follow i can go slower so now verticals one two three four five all right another line one two three four five Again, with me, one, two, three, four, five. Again, you know what, let's, let's mix it up. Let's do some diagonals. One, two, three, four, five, right? Another set, one, two, three, four, five. Now, if you're wondering why we're doing this, we're trying to warm up our hand to be able to, you know, so that we can make it move in multiple different directions. You know, we'll do another set of diagonals like this. One, two, three, four, five, voila. And uh, let's do some waves. Let me get another paper, all right? Let me get another sheet of paper right here, right? We'll, we'll do some curves right now. One, two, three, four, five. Again, one, two, three. Oops, see, I was just looking at the comments there. Four, five. If you make a mistake, that is completely fine. Again, the opposite direction. One, two, three, four, five. Again, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so now we're gonna do some wavy, wavy waves. So like this. One, two, three, Four. So these things are called double waves because there are double waves, right? So make double waves such as that. One, two, three, four. We're gonna build up to that. Again, guys, you gotta be patient. We're building up to this thing. So we're gonna, we're gonna build up to that, all right? Okie dokie. So one more set of paper. So what we're gonna do right now is some mountains or what do you want to call this thing? These triangular thingies for all of a sudden, I keep forgetting the name of this. All right, just do a bunch of this. Now don't underestimate any of these things and don't say you're good to that. Drawing, drawing such as this one, right? means you need to be able to draw stuff such as this one's first, all right? So you need to fill the gap between and you do that by doing these little things. So do it along with me. Just do a lot of stuff until your arm feels warm, right? Until your arm feels warm, it feels good. Now let's do a big wave like this, whoop, whoopity, doodles like that, like that, like that, right? Like that like that, like that. All right, so we're gonna turn to a new piece of, piece of paper, no, piece of paper. Now we're gonna draw a circle. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick thing on how to draw a circle. So most people draw a circle like this. Boop, like that. Sometimes you get a circle right, sometimes you don't. Rather, draw a circle, imaginary circle up in the air, then land the pen on the paper, like that. So draw a bunch of circles, 
like that. Draw an imaginary circle in the air, your circle looks a, a bit more fluid, right? Like that. Okay, so like that. Just fill the page with a bunch of small circles, big circles, small circles, smaller circles, smallest circle, and a bigger circle, like that. Like this, like this, like this, like this. Now bigger ones, now bigger ones, and bigger ones, and bigger ones, and bigger ones. Just keep filling the page with circles, like this, throughout the entire page. Just fill it up, like that. Now it's 511 right now. And we're gonna quickly move on and finish with the warm up. We're gonna be done with circles. That is circles. All right, so that is circles. Okay, so once we're done, now turn to your new page. So here's where the doodling begins. All right, here's where the, 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 the fun part of doodling begins. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna take a sketch pen and we're gonna do a lot of lines in different direction, but not chaotic lines, right? Not, not anything chaotic, but rather say simpler lines is the thing, right? So take a sketch pen such as this one. I'm gonna take a broader tip such as this and I'm gonna demonstrate first, first watch, then listen. The, all these exercises, right, are for you to sort of loosen up, just create more flow within your drawings and be more, quote unquote, creative, all right? So are we clear to, clear to now? I'm gonna look at the comments here for a second. I'm just gonna look at the comments here for a second. Uh, so are you guys good? And uh, the, the warm up's good? Say yes, if the warm up is good, just say a quick little yes and we'll move on to the next one, all right? Can we please fold the page in half? Yes, you can, definitely. I know some of you guys wait clear. Awesome, yes, awesome. You guys are pumped up right now. That is awesome. Awesome, yes. All right, you guys are ready. So I'm gonna show a little demonstration right here, right? A little demonstration of what I want you guys to do. This is a line, right? This is a very small line. So all the patterns and things that you sort of did the warm up. I want you to sort of include that into your drawing. So what I'm basically doing here is just drawing whatever shape that comes to my mind. So the only thing that you need to make sure is don't sort of crisscross and match right now. Just draw a bunch of things once you start a line, try to finish that line in whatever shape or form. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter what you do. Just any line, any line, crisscross like this, waves like this, big boxes like this, they are fine, right? Just do some of this like that, then like that. Just whatever thing that comes to your mind. So the idea is you're sort of seeing between things right now and uh, creating random shapes that doesn't even make sense. See this right here is a random shape. I would, I would probably never make that thing. I want to make another random shape right here. I'm gonna put these little dots and markers here and there. And uh, I'm gonna, put this thing, thing right here. I'm gonna put a circle right here. And you know what? I'm gonna put two lines such as this one down below and adding this. Now, this is not like one of your professional, professional drawings, but these are the things that actually sort of activate certain areas of your brain that really helps you to sort of think in a way that people usually don't think. That is the idea. So I'm gonna do another page of that and rather me doing it traditionally right now, how about I mix things up and do it on the iPad as well so that you guys will get an idea. 
So I'm going to open up my iPad. This is what I basically have done here, right? This whole thing right here, just random shapes and random things, random lines and random stuff, right? That is what I've done here. All right. So I'm just going to take my iPad, take my sketchbook out of the way. I'm going to open up the new thing. We're going to just do one page, then we're going to work on, say, another exercise to sort of free things up. Of course, we just have 45 minutes, so we're going we're gonna to need to make the most out of this thing. So any sketchpen is fine, right? Any sketchpen is fine. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say create all the random shapes and lines that comes to my mind right now. I don't even know what these things are. You don't need to know what these things are. That is the goal right there. You don't have to just draw. Just draw with any kind of shape that comes to your mind. And here's a key factor. He's a key, th key thing that you need to remember. Don't compare yourselves to what I'm doing here or what you are doing. Or uh, if you have a kid at home, what that kid is probably doing. I don't know, right? Probably your kid draws way better than you. <laughs> You'll never know. So just draw some random stuff, whatever thing. So to give you some more tips, you can mix little circles, right? Little boxes such as this one, little triangles, and mix some more shapes with that triangle such as this one right there. And you can put some zigzags right, right here like this. You can even put up a little swirl right here and another swirl right here. You can put a squirey swirl like this. Then a triangle like that. Then we'll put up big zigzags right here and we'll put up little circles over there let's just fill a page you know let's fill a page like this the entire page right with random zigzags and random lines see what i'm doing right here see what i'm doing right here i'm just putting a line then another line then another line then another line of course i'm being very very clear on my explanation because there are kids watching and they're going to have a hard time understanding and if anyone's having a hard time understanding, just drop a comment. I will look at it and I will go through it. Just create, say, random stuff. Fill the page up. Fill the page up. Fill the page up like that. Welcome, Pallavi. All right. Bro, this is epic. No, it's on Procreate. Looks like a tribal sketch. I know. I know. So we can draw a seed like this right here and put a circle in it and all of a sudden it becomes an eye. Oh my God, look at that. Just fill the page up with random things. So I see that some of you are not commenting because you're probably drawing and you shouldn't be commenting while you're drawing. So just fill the page up with stuff like that and voila you have some things you can say fill these blank empty spaces with little lines and dots such as this one little dot here little dot here little dot here dots 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 that sort of felt like beatboxing dots 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 <laughs> like that see i'm just putting say random stuff everywhere and what happens is when you're doing lots and lots of pages such as this one, you eventually say find the little things that you might want to include in your art and that will be a game changer for you. And getting good at your craft, you know, mostly lies in all these minuscule practices that pretty much seems like nothing, but they are the foundation and the bedrock of, you know, this this just random fun having right this is not even doodling this is fun having look at that so just create an empty page right just 
look up the screen for a second and create an create a page like this right just fill up a page filled with lines and marks and things and if you have the time after this uh, live stream you can go ahead and create say lots of these pages different kinds of these pages and post it you know uh, that will be really helpful all right all right, Samir. All right, Samir. So I'm going to repeat the steps for this whole page again, rather just just to sort of be clear. Just start with a single line, then some other line like this, a zigzag, or a C like this, or multiple Cs like this, and lines, curves such as this. If you keep doing this with shapes and things, throughout the whole page you will sort of end up with things now the goal here is to not for me to tell you what line or shape to use you have to sort of come up with that you have to sort of create all the different things that you need to create you know it's as simple as that so that is the whole point of this page to fill things up so are we good are we clear all right, so the app is Procreate. The app, is, the, the app that I'm using is Procreate on iPad. That is the one that I'm using. So I uh, want to do dish lard, but I don't have a tablet, stylus. What shall I do? You don't need a tablet or a stylus. You can do this on good old fashioned paper. You don't need anything. You just need a marker and a paper. That's all you need. What type of pen should we use? All right, uh, you can use any sort of pen with a thick nib such as this one right so this thing has a thick nib you know you can use a pen such as that for this whole thing all right or use a finger yeah you can use a finger right you can use a finger like you know oops like this let me let me use the finger and show you something right just random stuff right just I'm not even thinking about it. The idea is to don't think about it. That's what doodling is. You're not thinking about doodling. You're just doing it with all these different lines and shapes and marks. And if you're a kid, right, if you're a kid, you're four or five years, six years old, just scribble on the page, right? Scribble shapes and random lines and things like this and you'll be good to go. All right, now you've finished your pages. We're gonna go on to the next exercise. So I'm gonna switch back to the traditional mediums. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna do a bunch of patterns. Oops, let me, let me open up that thing. I love patterns. I love doing patterns. I just love everything about it. And it's one of the repetitive tasks of doing patterns, which helps me really be creative and mindful and just do a lot of things. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna do this along with me. We're all gonna do the same patterns, you know? So grab a page, any page, right? Then grab a pen or a sketch pen. I would highly recommend you use a ballpoint pen of sorts and something that is very light and easy to use. I'm gonna use a Sakura Micron 08 pen, right? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go a bit closer to, so that you'll be able to sort of see this thing better. Let me just adjust the camera there for a second. Okay, I think we're, we're clear right now. So everything is clear and on point. So what I want you guys to do is sort of draw these little two inches boxes, right? These inch long boxes such as this one so inside this is what we're gonna do a bunch of patterns, right? Draw four, you know, because we just need four today. Just draw four of these boxes, such as this, right? I'm gonna draw it like that. Just these boxes, these squares, right? And we're gonna invent patterns right now. We're gonna invent some patterns like that. All right, you have four boxes. Procreate app and iPod draw for smartphone. All right, cool, thanks for answering. Uh, cool then, okie dokie. 
So here's what we're going to do. We're going to draw some, do some patterns. We're going to do some patterns. Let me just, yes. Okay. Okay. So the first pattern that I'm going to be sort of doing is sort of, so the, the whole idea behind pattern is, is, is this. You have something right here, right? And patterns are repetitive in nature. So you've got to sort of repeat those things over and over and over again to get the pattern. So it's repetitive. That is the whole idea behind patterns. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to start out with the easy one like this, right? I'm going to start out with an easy one. So sort of these two lines, two line stripes throughout the whole page. Just draw a line then draw another line and sort of maintain equal distance of sorts between each and go ahead like that. Micron pen with ballpoint pen. Can you replace micron pen with ballpoint pen? Definitely, absolutely. You can, you definitely can. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna sort of shade right now. Shade in the sense, this is how you do it. I'm gonna go in this direction like this, right? This is the direction that I'm doing it, right? So I'm just going to fill this up like that. Just leaving some white spaces here and there so that it looks textured, right? It looks textured like that. And I'm going to fill this whole thing up like this. Just fill it up in the same direction. This is, this is how I usually do it. This is how I usually do it. If you, you know, just doing, doing it in one single place, right? Like that, all right? So just doing a bunch of patterns. Just filling it up, filling it up with stuff. If you can come up with 10 patterns, right? That is gonna be awesome. 10 patterns, awesome. Like that. Now, you can even look at the environment around you, sort of come up with your own pattern. So that is one right there. Uh, you can use a recommendation for good brush pen. You can use this one, Pigma one, Micron. All right, so that is one. And uh, I'm gonna, let's create another one. So let's create these sort of these U shapes. So this is a U, a U, then another U, another U. So I'm sort of creating scales right now, right? Throughout this whole thing. So we're gonna place the next U right between these two U's like that to create that scaly effect right? Texture or shade with pen. How do you get that texture or shade with pen? It's simple. Don't press too hard. If you press too hard, you'll get pure black. But if you press light, you're going to get jagged ink falling on the paper. So you can achieve this with a micron pen such as this one or a ballpoint pen, right? You can do that. Uh, sir, can I doodle inspired by my surroundings? Yes, definitely you can. You can doodle stuff based on your surrounding. Okay, so I'm gonna put some more scales such as this. And I'm gonna work on this thing. This is, this is only the basic version, right? I'm gonna put stuff up like that. I'm gonna make it my style, you know? I have to make it my style. Or else it's just gonna be one of those weird patterns that is out there on the internet, so. What I do is I'm gonna put these little two lines. Aren't these Z-tangles patterns? What's the difference between Z-tangles and doodles? Z-tangles, I, I, have, I, have, uh, I have no idea what Z-tangles is. Doodling for me is sort of, this is the whole idea behind this whole exercise is to sort of do exercises and things that sort of helps you with opening up your creative box, meaning being more creative. So you're sort of creating elements right here, sort of little elements to sort of be more open. That is the idea, that is, uh, that is the idea. Uh, can you use paintbrush? Yes, you can, definitely. Uh, I, don't, I wouldn't recommend it unless you have good control, right? So let me just put up some more patterns nearby so that 
You guys can take inspiration, copy some of my own, right? Like that. I'm going to place it right here. So the goal for me right now is to sort of create patterns and things. Here's, here's, a, here's a train of thought, right? Uh, the idea behind doodling is sort of creating and coming up with new things mindlessly. And before you sort of create multiple things, you, can, you need to sort of practice creating one thing in a sort of repetitive fashion that will sort of help you create new things in a multiple, you know, multiple different kinds of variations. And patterns is the idea behind that is sort of you are creating random things and repetitive things to sort of open up a, a particular place where you can sort of do do more new things. All right, uh, cool. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking the first exercise we did, right? The the line exercise. I'm sort of making it a lot thicker. That's it. Like sort of drawing a line like this right if you do this along with me right this is going to be really fun just do it along with me it's going to be so so fun right like this and like that so i'm just mixing up say jagged and crisscross and things like that so can you make patterns with the brush yes it looks like fish skates i know right and uh, i'm going to make a big line right here i'm going to fill this entire line up with black and I'm leaving, say, little white spaces to make it look three-dimensional. You know, little white spaces at the end. See, I'm leaving a little white space, right? Can we make our own patterns? Yes, feel free. Feel free to make your own patterns. Our idea is to make four patterns for the day so that we can use it somewhere. Hey guys, just wanted to tell you account. Okay, 100 days of sketching is awesome. Sketchbooks, please. Yes, I will recommend sketchbooks at the end of this class. We'll do a little interactive session at the end of it. Just creating random stuff right there. I want to do a sketch of myself now. Can I? I'd say do it along with me. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm just looking at, okay, so that is one. And here's another pattern that I want to do, which is going to be like, let me, let me guess, let me guess. I want to do these triangles. I'm going to call these things bingo <laughs> triangles, right? Like that, just little, these little triangles. Every single time you're trying to force your head to come up with a new pattern, you're doing something. And this is one of the most often overlooked stuff when it comes to sort of beginners trying to draw. They think of all these things as too easy or too, I don't know, uh, what do you call it? Uh, too good for themselves. Nothing is good for you, to be honest. You know, <laughs> if you're a beginner, nothing is good for you and you're probably good for nothing. So that is the idea. That is the idea, right? You need to sort of make yourself good for stuff. And you do that by engaging yourself in the simplest of activities to sort of test new waters and see what's, what's there, right? So, you know, I'm sort of in the mood and in the flow. I want to do one more pattern, which is I call the polka dot pattern, right? The polka dots. Okay. All right, so I'm going to do some polka dots. Just these circles. I'm going to leave a little circle with a little white dot. I'm going to do a bunch of these dots of Artrage. I get you, Artrage. Thank you. Thank you so much. You don't have to type the new comment. Same thing over and over again. Uh, all right, I'm going to do a bunch of these things right here. Oh, 
Okay. So guys, so are we clear till now? Any doubts, any questions that you want to ask before we move on to the next session? Next part of the thing, which is the actual doodling part. Figure drawing and cartooning in character design. We won't be covering that here, buddy. I'm telling you that those things are too hard for me to cover in a 45 minute live stream. Those things are seas of subjects. Okay, let me just read the comments for a second. Can you please make drawing characters, expressions? Uh, probably not today, but I will, we will be drawing a character and that might help you sort of start in the direction of, you know, being able to draw characters. Why don't you doodle like Vex? Because I'm not Vex, I'm Cash. <laughs> My lines are une uneven. That is fine. That is very, very fine. If your lines are not looking the way they're supposed to, don't get, don't panic, you know, it's all right. Uh, how does, how, what is, when is the next session? Now is the next session. <laughs> it's going to be right now. In, in, uh, so we're going to do it right after this thing. Uh, can post, okay, digital coloring tips. Probably not, does we need to do basics daily? Yes, Vinesh. Uh, if you do these little basics, right, the, the ones we did right here, right, every day you're going to have a lot of improvement with your line quality it's going to really help you improve your lines that is one of the most underlooked things uh can uh what else what else what else what else questions what questions mm, i want to do digital art but i don't have back on tablet or stylus can you suggest some get a get a xp pen or you know get an xp pen that is a good tablet it's very cheap uh, procreate on phone no it's not on phone what about mandala art difference mandala art is also sort of repetitive patterns but it has more symmetry and geometry to it and these things doesn't have geometry to it you know these things are everywhere these things are mindless mandala, mandala art is not mindless mandala art you need a lot of uh, uh, what do you say concentration and focus to sort of pull it off and uh, these things are not these things are not uh, what else so can we move to the next session can we move to doodling stuff if you, if you can we move on to doodling things finally on to doodling say yes say yes say yes <laughs> all right can we move on can we move on if you have any other questions post it as well i don't mind i'll answer the questions can we move on to the next one I can post once a day because my block of Insta. That is fine, Sarov. That is fine. Yes, we will go. We will rock this. We will, we will rock. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. So, idea right now. I want to do a little test, one more test, which is uh, I want to know how many of you guys are below the age of six and uh, four or something like that because I want to know the level of complexity of the current audience who are watching right now because depending on the level of complexity I can make this easier or harder for us to sort of draw right we're going to be dra drawing a bunch of little things so uh, uh, so I'm nine okay Sundar is nine Sundar are you finding any of this hard Sundar nine no one no I'm 13 not me, I'm 11, we will do caricatures, I'm age 13, 16, 5, Tanish, uh, 5, 4 years old, Suchi, if you guys, uh, two, or two of you, Tanish, Suchi, if you guys are finding it hard, just, just drop a comment, alright, and I'll try to make it easy for you guys, alright, cool, 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 alright, so if you guys have a pencil, right, if you guys have a pencil, please do take your pencil, we're going to be drawing a bunch of doodles right now, and the idea is to sort of uh, what, what, do you, what do you what do you say well, how, how do I put it to sort of recreate things to sort of capture elements of it so that you can sort of draw stuff like this Konika uh, is six years old all right Konika if you don't if you don't understand anything let me know so take a pencil such as this one right take a little pencil such as this one I want to adjust the camera again a little bit like that cool so a couple of tips before we start. I've been doodling from three years old, seven, awesome. Uh, 22, that is great. All right, so two tips before we start, right? Make sure you're putting light lines like this. Maybe hold your pencil instead of here, hold it right here so that you can put very clean light lines, right? 
very light don't do this don't do this don't do this do this think as if you're drawing with a feather you know a feather right feather is something very light right draw as if you're drawing with a feather like that very light very 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 light mukka pudike saapadala okay uh all right 13 13 13 okay do okay cool then fine so everything that you uh, so here's here's the little class most people know this right everything around you is formed with shapes right every single thing like such as this one let me let me just show you an example on the ipad everything everything let me just open it up for a second i don't want to show my okay so let me open up a little drawing right every drawing that i make right is a is a combination of different kinds of different kinds of shapes little shapes big shapes small shapes medium shapes large shapes right so if you look at this right there are major shapes everywhere that really bases my design this entire design sort of based on this thing and if you even take a look at that in in a, in a bit more in depth right there is a shape on top of this shape everything is formed with shapes simple shapes is what i'm thinking simple shapes is what i'm thinking right stuff like this this simple shape right this little simple shape right here is what that turns into something like this right something that looks more complex but it's not complex whereas it's very simple every single thing around is just constructed with shapes now these are also called forms meaning forms are three dimensional shapes are two dimensional and uh, we're getting a bit too advanced right here i don't want to get into that because there are four and five year six year olds watching i want to make this easy for them so so far all you need to understand is shapes shapes make up everything you just need to look at the world in terms of shapes and all the little minuscule shapes that makes up things all right so that is the thing right there with that set here is what we are going to do should i do this digitally mm, maybe not i want to do this traditionally so that you guys can see so take up a pencil right take up a pencil like this we're going to start off with a basic construction it's called construction construction all right <laughs> cool all right so here's what we're going to do i'm going to sort of start with a very small circle here make it very light make it very very light such as this one very small circle such as this one right that would be the first step make a very small not too small about an inch right about an inch draw big on your paper draw big right so after this there are three main shapes in this entire thing right this is one this is another one this is another one this is an the beard is sort of an extra all right the beard is sort of an extra okay with that said so draw a basic circle now draw a sort of like a rectangle but rounded edges right rectangle is this rounded rectangle is this right so once we're done with this doodle i'm going to talk about elements which is one of the most important factors for creating interesting doodles and very doodles and things like that draw a basic thing like this a rounded rectangle and now we're going to sort of work on this so this is what you need this needs to be a very small circle this needs to be a very big thing right it needs to be big that is a proportion that we are working on right here then draw two c's these half spheres or half circles are going to work as your ears so step 1 circles step 
rounded rectangles. Step three, your C's. Now, draw a big oval like this. Keep it very light. Keep it very, very light. All right? Keep it very, very light. Like that. All right? So make sure that your oval is sort of coming for, for, further than your ear, the C right here. Sort of, it's more aesthetic, right? It's more appealing. That's the thing. And cut your oval in half, right? And draw a semi spear. See, I'm able to make these smooth lines all these smooth curves, I'm able to hit where I need to hit and I, need, I can draw where I want to draw. And that is all because I've been doing that line exercises which I showed you guys in the beginning, right? All the line exercises which I did, it's all because of this. Now we have our basic construction here. Put your pencil down, right? Put your, put your pencil down. Now I'm gonna go straight away with the pen, right? You guys go straight away with the pen. I'm gonna use a brush pen like this. Any sketch pen is fine. All right, so are we clear so far? Are we good so far? Any, any other questions, any other things that we, can you slow down? Yes, I can definitely slow down. All right, so have you caught up to this? First step, draw a spear, a very small spear such as this one, right? And second thing, this thing. So one thing that you need to sort of make sure is don't crush your shape. Don't crush your shape in the sense, don't, crush your shape like this. Fill it up with air, right? Your shape needs to fill, be filled, right, with, like think of it like a balloon, right? This, this feels like an inflated balloon. This feels like a filled up balloon, right? That is one thing that you can use to get more bubbly looking shapes, right? Very filled up shapes. All right, so are we clear till now? Are we good? Any other questions? Are we good on the construction? Are we good? Can we move on? If you can, if we can move on, you can just say yes. Please repeat the construction of the shapes. By the way, name is Shagong. All right. I want to give you a, give you a quick thing. Simple. Start with a spear such as this one. That is step one. Start with a spear. Step one. Step two. A rounded triangle. Right. Step three a oval and two C's for the years. And last but not least, this one. So all right, so everyone says yes, that is a thing. Okie dokie, take your sketch penny. Uh, so we're gonna start putting in the main lines. So I'm gonna start off with a little house-like thingy, right? Like a triangle-like thingy right here. Now I'm gonna Put another line like that. We're gonna, we're gonna put this character, right? We're gonna name this character. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do something with him right now. So and we're gonna do that over time. So that is one. So and next I'm going to this is the first step right here, right? This is the first step. I'm starting it from here, right here, and going over there. Next step would be I'm going to draw a spear like this. So why did I do that? Well, I'm thinking this character should be like a king, you know? This character, probably a normal guy. This character, like a kingly guy, right? I'm using the basic little lines and curves and shapes which I've used before, right? So I'm going to draw a box of sorts inside, like that. You know, some sort of like a little box, right? That is the idea. Now I'm gonna put a line. So once you're done with the box, I'm gonna put a line, a little line, like this. Like that in, on the inside. So I'm sort of building things up one at a time. So you can turn the paper if you want to, if you're uncomfortable. I'm going to just draw the outlines of everything around again tip here be slow don't rush things see i'm i'm not rushing stuff just 
See, I'm able to make that smooth line. Look at that. 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 I'm able to do that because I have control over my hands. And how am I having control over my hands? Because I did those little exercises at the beginning. Now draw a line like this. This sort of marks the halfway part of the turban, right? We're drawing a turban, right? We're drawing the Indian turban. And yes, like that. Then here's what I'm going to do. Right, so, so far we're done. So far we're done. Are we good? So far, are we good? Cool. Okay, I am going to draw a nose, probably a nose that sort of starts with a shape like this. Then it's like a U. Like that. And I'm going to swirl it like this. So these are all called elements. All the little swirls, all these little lines, all these little marks, all these little patterns which I did, these are all elements in uh, doodling. And a combination of these elements makes up a doodle. You know, think of it like a word in the English language. It's like a mixture of different alphabets, right? So like that, each and every single thing is an element. So I am going to do and mark these boxes here for the eyebrows like that cool and now next up so this is the step so far this is the step so far and i'm going to put a little u like this and the little u like this so this is another element which I've collected over the years. Instead of do, uh, doing circles for the eyes, I've started doing use like this. And doing use sort of gives out a completely different effect. Cool, awesome. So now we need to sort of make this guy smile a bit, right? We need to make this guy smile a bit. So what is this thing of smiling, right? Smiling, the basic thing is this, right? So we need to build a mustache around this, meaning your mustache needs to be shaped like this around that so that it looks like it's smiling or the person is smiling. So that's what I'm going to do right here. And I'm going to do the, the C's which I showed you the beginning like that see so this is the half of the mustache this guy has half of the mustache all right so like that so this guy looks as if he's smiling he's like yeah, okay right like that so i'm going to put these little lines like here so with that said I'm gonna put two lines right here and two lines right here, sort of mark the hair. I'm gonna draw the ears like this, mark the C like that, right? Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna put a T. Easiest way to mark a ear, like a T, right? You put a T, T like that on the ears. It sort of marks the ear really well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to around this oval shape, right? Around this oval shape, I'm going to build it up like this. Look at that, just with C's. All right. What app should we download to draw online? You don't need to download any app. Just just need paper and pencil. That is more than enough. Uh, so what is what else? Can you please make lectures like this? Yes, sure. Uh, so so far, good. So far, this is what we have. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to mark the outline of this like that. All right, there you have that. All right, so once we're done with that, 
right? Once we're done with all this, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put some, say, little marks on the edges like this, little tiny marks. See, little tiny marks here on the edges of the beard, two marks like you did for the patterns. Remember the patterns? Like that. Yes, this stream will be available even after this thing finishes. So you're good to go. Uh, so there you have it. I want to put little marks near the mustache. Very light marks. Like that. Right? So once I'm done with that, here's what I'm going to do. Right? I'm going to take the same pen. Right? Uh, since you're already using the same pen, we are going to take some of the patterns we did here and apply it right here right so here's the pattern that i have in mind by the way i just want to make a little thing right here it's just he's got this jewel up on his thing so it's like this black jewel look at that so i'm just coloring that in and putting two lines around it sort of these are all elements guys these are all called elements you, you learn and do these elements so i'm going to draw these triangles throughout this whole guy wouldn't that be nice look at that right look at that so just triangles right just drawing triangles you can use a different pattern if you like right you have a bunch of different patterns you can draw use any pattern let me open up that book again for your reference right you can use any of the patterns right here right okay so what else so far are we good are we good peeps are we good just draw the patterns like that just the triangles in different sizes see I'm, I'm not i'm just not like doing one size but rather different sizes of triangles right look at that right there you have that so i'm going to do the same thing down below just putting it in different different places and different different shapes like that little ones small ones big ones large ones like kitty like kitty that like that like that there you have it right you have done with the patterns i'm just gonna make little changes should i put these little lines inside these things probably not this looks so good so far so i'm just going to say put little lines right or around the edges to sort of mark the three dimensionality of the object just these little lines and also on the outside like that Like this little lines little lines throughout and voila voila that is your first doodle that is how you do your first doodle you my friend can put some lines on the beard as well put some lines on the nose like that so you my friend here's the dealio right 
I'm going to break this down right here. Then we can do more doodles if you guys like to do more doodles. I have planned more, but we have less time, but we can do more. Every doodle that you see here is made up of individual elements. For example, this particular guy right here, right? This particular guy is made up of almost five to six kinds of elements. One would be the kind of nose that guy, this guy has, right? Another one is this kind of eyebrows this guy has, right? Another one is the shape of the mustache, right? And another one is the kind of the beard. These are all individual elements that can be used to draw your doodles and you need to collect elements. You can draw these things in different ways. You can draw the same mustache in probably five different ways. Let me show you how. And this is gonna be a quick demonstration though. I'm just drawing the same mustache In this way, I can draw the same mustache like this. I can draw the same mustache like this, like the, the Hitler mustache. Right? I can draw the same mustache like this. So these are different kinds of mustaches and these are individual elements. You need to start collecting elements. How do you collect elements is by you collect elements by observing life. I have observed lots of noses in real life and I'm converting that into simplest of shapes so that I can use them in my drawings in my doodles this is how doodling works this is how things work the reason why i made you do all these little patterns variety creating elements learning to create different variations of a single element right here which is patterns this guy has the triangular patterns right all these little things right all these little stuff together make up your doodles now guys whoa Key doodles. All right, so here's the deal. We can do one more doodle or two more doodles. So how are we looking? We can do one or two more doodles and end this live stream. We are already says 89 minutes, 90 minutes in. Oh my God, right? Or we can end it right here. Just one more doodle. And uh, before that, I'd like to say a couple of things, right? Things I need to say because the people who made this possible, right? So. If you want to be featured on Pampers India's Instagram, take a picture of your drawings, take a picture of all your drawings, right? Take a picture of the you drawing or your kid drawing or yourself drawing, then post it under the hashtag Pampers Pastime, P-A-M-P-E-R-S-P-A-S-T-I-M-E, Pampers Pastime, post it, then you will be featured on Pampers thing. And, uh, so yes, so that is one and uh, that is that is one. So you should drink water. I know man, I gotta drink water. So one more, one more, you guys good? One more. So I'm gonna show you rather than walk you through it. Oops, there's my fan, say hello. Okay, last one, last one. I already have one ready. Just wanted to do that. Let me get that. What is that thing? I'm so unorganized right here. Okay, I want to do a little dragon, right? Little dragon right here. So here's how it starts. I'm going to do a slightly different variation of the, the same thing right here. So I'm going to start off with a circle. This is going to be a demonstration rather than you following along with me. I'm going to put a U, circle, right? Circle, U. Let's say, hmm, I think I'm going to put an eyebrow like this. So this is an element right here. Like that, see? 
this is an element right there. So I am going to put some lines right here. I don't even need to see things because I, I'm already so used to say drawing things with shapes. I am going to put these wavy curvy lines we did in the earlier part. Look at that. Look kitty, look kitty, that, right? Then, I'm gonna use the same waves and put a little tail right here, tail right here, right? Then, I'm going to draw a line right here. So I want to, this is the basic shape, right? This is the sort of like a very basic mass shape of this character. Then, got the legs of this character right here and right here. That's why I, got, I told you guys to do the earlier parts of this class so that you get used to it. This is like a flat dragon. <laughs> Look at that, right? I'm gonna put an eye, another eye right here. I'm gonna put another eyebrow right there. Then I'm gonna take my, okay, I'm probably going to put some scales for this thing. All these things, right? Starting with a basic shape, starting with the simplest of things. I'm gonna put some couple of lines throughout the whole stuff. I think we're running a bit late. And there you have it. Stuff like this. Make tons of doodles and you can make stuff like this just repeatedly, right? Repeatedly stuff like this, right? Little things and put them together, such as this, and you will have your thing. You will have your doodle. And that is sort of the end of this thing. That is the end of this class. And uh, I'm gonna do a little outro right here. I'm gonna show my beautiful face for a second. 10,000 more doodles. You want 10,000 more, 10 million more doodles, huh? All right. Thank you for sticking by. Thank you for doing this session with me. Hope you guys did. We can make sketch portraits. Austin, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Sanja. Thank you so much for sticking by doing this long doing drawing session. Can you steal from my work? Oh, feel free. Uh, are you on Instagram? Yes, I'm on Instagram at keshrt. That is where I come from. And uh, hope you had a good session. You can check out my work on YouTube as well under the name Kesh Art, K E S H A R T. Yes, I'm on Instagram, K E S H R T on Instagram. People will in the comments will help you out. You know, uh, <laughs> I want to hug you too. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pampers India, for this. Should I be saying anything else? So make sure you post your uh, drawings on the hashtag Pampers Pastime and you will be featured on Pampers India's thing, their Instagram. So that is pretty much it. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys later, probably. <laughs> later on another channel, on my YouTube channel. So anyways, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You will go back to sleep now. Thank you, Elizabeth, for sticking by all the way from Costa Rica. Thank you so much. We'll do a new session later. We'll definitely do a new, uh, do a new session. All right. Bye-bye, guys. Thank you so much. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Ta-da. I don't know how to end this live stream. I'm so bad with technology. Are you sure you want to stop streaming? Yes. I think that's the question this thing is asking me. <laughs>